Hello everyone, it's Nazal from startlecoding.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the recommended style guides of Python scripts. Uh, here you can see the P PEP, PEP, PEP 8 style guide for Python code, which uh, this PEP stands for Python Enhancement Proposal. Basically, there are a bunch of PEPs uh, that you can follow to make your code more readable to other Python developers. And among those PEPs, this PEP 8 is mostly used and for this reason, I'm going to show you some of the tricks um, every Python developer uses, uh, uh, every Python developer uses to make their code more readable. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, documentation of PEP 8, you can see uh, tons of uh, instruction and information there. And uh, I'm going to show you a Python script file. So this is the file, uh, uh, which uh, uh, which actually contains a lot of bad practices. I'm going to fix it according to the recommended methods uh, in PEP8. So this is my file, and if I turn another uh, another tab and I just uh, run the file. You can see that the program perfectly runs because the Python interpreter does not bother with the bad practices used in a Python scripts. But as a developer, we should bother because we write for developers. We, we write for human beings, not for computers, basically. So, so I uh, I start uh, fixing this file. Here you can see that this is a list object here. Uh, which is a my list uh, variable and here you can see that uh, to name this list we have uh, the camel cased version of uh, naming convention has been used but according to the pep uh, styling guide we should use the underscore version uh, which will uh, basic, uh, um, uh, this underscore has uh, has to be used between two words and this class name, class name cannot be started with a smaller letter or a lowercase letter. And these are good. And here you can see that the same camelcast version naming convention has been used, but we cannot use for uh, function names and the variable names. Here is this is the function name and this is the variable names. So we cannot use camelcast version in Python scripts and this this is good so far so let's see define get random number a list okay which is good and here you can see that we should change the name to the underscore version and okay so we have imported two full libraries on line number 16 we cannot do this every library uh, library imported uh, would be at the top of the file so what i'm gonna do this in this vim text editor i'm gonna press the escape button and press shift v so that i can cut the file pressing d and i uh, and i enter um, and I entered the line using shift P and okay enter some blank lines here and also I cannot import two full libraries on the same line I should uh, use two lines to do that uh, just importing one library at a time on one line here you can see we have some spaces there and every function uh, fu fun uh, before any uh, uh, this is not a top order function uh, because this is a part of the class so we will use only one blank line here and these are the top level functions so we should use two blank lines here cool here you can see that the comma oh, okay Okay, we missed two. One thing. Um, after every comma, we have to 
have one spaces. So the same thing here, one space and of course the naming convention. And here's the thing, this is a very long line which we can modify by pressing enter and moving those files according to this line. And this is. So you can keep the this ending braces here or here. Does not matter too much. Maybe you can do something like this. Maybe if you like. Yes, okay, and okay, not too bad. And there as we changed the name at the top, we have to do this at the end of the file also. Okay. Okay, and so I just pressed double G and I get to the top of the file. Okay, I think so far so good. Let's save it, pressing colon and uh, lower W in lower case. Okay, I save the file and if I try to run the file, cool. The file perfectly runs. So, I can um, run this file against Flake 8 which is a program that traces any styling error if that file has anything okay so I can see that I have I still have two errors here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start from the last one here you can see that 7 is the line number and 1 is the column number so I have some starting here on line number 7 and column number 1 expected two blank lines and find one found one so so what I'm gonna do in this text uh, Vim text editor there is a very smart shortcut to go to a certain number of line which is for going to the seventh line, I just press seven, and here you can see that I press the seven here, and it appears here, and double G, G twice. Okay. So before the class definition, we should have two blank lines here, and the system imported but not used the sys library has not been used so i just press escape to get to the normal mode and press double d to get rid of the library okay so far so good so i save the file and again i run this against flake and it perfectly runs uh, and shows no error so i run the file here and it works perfectly so so yeah this is the thing that flag 8 file uh, program so um, this program does not come with every unix or linux version by default so for this reason you have to install this file so for installing this flag 8 you have to have the pip uh, which is a package manager in python this pip so for having the pip you have to um, download this python script and run this against python 3 like python 3 get pip.py the description will be under the uh, video with the file also i will mention it in the description so um, for example Python 3 and then just run this file using this and after doing so you have to run another command which is pip install flag 8 
as I have already installed this uh, on my machine this won't work so for installing this flag, um, uh, flag 8 and running this flag 8 uh, to trace any styling error to any python script you can use it and the description will be below and thanks for uh, watching this video and don't forget to subscribe bye